All right, welcome back. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to be making our, our list fragment right here, uh, and it's going to be one that, that uses uh, an, an adapter, as you, as you can see visually here, and it's also going to use a, a callback in a pretty neat way. Um, so let's 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 dig in. All right, so another fragment. Um, as far as as far as choices of fragments to use, so for our doc list fragment here, um, I'm going to opt to use a, a blank fragment. Um, I'll, I'll mention here that you can choose to use a list fragment, and it will stub in a huge amount of starting code. Uh, but I feel like if we get that all at once, it'll be a little bit overwhelming. Uh, in the future, feel free to use it. Um, you know, I used it as a as a reference, kind of playing around with this and everything. Um, but I, I'm going to choose for for this example to go with the the blank fragment. Uh, as far as our, our our options here, I am going to use the the interface callbacks this time, and we'll see what the, what they give us. All right. So jumping in, doc list fragment. All right. So fragment. I'm going to right click on my fragment package again. New fragment blank doc list fragment layout sure um, no factory methods but we will take the the interface callbacks click finish uh, and we'll we'll see what we get um, here so um, ooh, so we get some interesting stuff here fragment interaction listener on create view so that's that's familiar Ooh, button pressed on attach on detach. Whoa, we got some fun stuff here. So they, these are these callbacks. So let's let's see what we got here. Uh, one more thing, I guess, before we do this, uh, I want you to also go ahead and grab the contents of this XML file. This is just just basically what we're gonna have for our view here, and that's that's really just to get the recycler view with a color in it. Uh, nothing else, right? You could you could type it easily. You could copy it. No big deal. All right, so I got it on my clipboard here. So fragment doc list uh, again, replacing that that default one that they give me uh, with my recycler view, which we already uh, put in our build uh, dot gradle. Okay, uh, so decent. So let's let's talk a little bit more about this this on attach on detach all all that kind of stuff here. Uh, so these are all part of the fragment lifecycle, uh, and you're going to recognize that in, that in some ways it's it's very similar to an activities, right? Um, so you're going to see things like on create, right? Um, you're going to see on resume, on start, on pause, on stop, um, on destroy, right? So these are all identical to to activities, but fragments kind of live and die within activities. So we, we sometimes we need some more fine grained um, control. So the first thing I'll, I'll mention is, is that that there are two places, uh, two callbacks that actually are going to have an activity in them, and they're all sort of within what happens here. It's not just on create. It may be that you need access to the activity even before anything's created, right? Uh, so on attach is the first opportunity that your app has to get um, that when you're creating the, the fragment uh, to have access to the activity. And we're going to use that shortly. Uh, on create and on create view are separated out, right? Um, in case a, a, a view needs to be created or destroyed without actually killing the whole fragment. Uh, and this right here, um, I have not used. But on activity created, it would be um, this guy is called sort of like when the, the the parent activity has definitely been created, right? Hence the name on activity created. Uh, so in case you needed something that relied upon a completed activity, this is just sort of the activity is it's in the process of being made, and this is uh, access to the to the completed activity, right? Uh, and then uh, on detach is kind of the opposite of on attach. Um, so if you needed to release um, information about the activity or so on. Okay. Um, as far as how we're going to use these things, um, so I mentioned on attach is where we're going to store a reference to our parent activity. Uh, on create, sort of your normal kind of things, initializing data variables, other things. Uh, on create view um, is going to be inflating the view, and maybe if you had listeners, uh, you could add those in as well. Uh, and then anything else that relies on the parent's UI, right, is going to happen within on activity create. All right. but let's let's dig in. What do we mean? Uh, why, why might we need a reference to the parent activity? So let's 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 talk through this in, in some detail here. Uh, so what I want to have happen is, you know, I here I have my my list uh, fragment, and when I click on one of these items, it's going to have to actually switch to a different fragment, totally different fragment, totally different layout, different data, all that kind of stuff there. Um, so we're going to have to swap out uh, that guy. So again, our goal, clicking on an item in the list, is going to display that detail view, different fragment. Uh, that means we're going to have to do a replace. Now, if we think about it, replacement 
happens in, in, the, in the activity, right? It's the activity where we replaced even to get this fragment versus the about fragment, right? Um, so the activity has, has the fragment manager that, that does the transactions and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's the activity that, that does it, right? Hmm. So the fragment needs to know about the activity somehow, right? And the first place that it has access uh, to that is, is, is in the, the unattached, okay? Uh, I'm going to write a method on my activity um, that essentially my fragment can say, hey, activity, I selected a document, right? So call this method here, and then that can do that, that code that will, that will do the, fringe, uh, the fragment transaction in the activity. Now, how does this fragment have any idea that this activity um, actually has an on doc selected? Um, now this idea is that I'm going to talk about is mostly sort of like I guess for a legacy code. Um, so you, you know maybe one person's writing a fragment or you're adding a new fragment into an existing activity. Uh, so you know you want you want to ensure that it's there. Okay. So we've seen this before. Uh, if you want an activity, um, if it has to be required to have a method, uh, you just just make sure that that the activity uh, implements an interface. Right. And so what they gave us in our code for starting code, this on fragment interaction listener, um, is, is that interface, right? So if I jump into my doc list fragment, you'll see that, that what they did in, um, in here is they declared this, this, um, this interface for the activity to, to implement, and they just call it a listener here. Uh, we're gonna call ours a callback. Um, and then when it, the first moment that it has, when, it, when the activity attaches here, it it sets that listener um, to be what was passed in. Now it's passing in a context. We know that it's the activity that, that launched the, the fragment. Um, so we can just go ahead and, and cast that to this, this on fragment interaction listener. Um, and if it's not an instance of that, so if that um, the activity doesn't implement the interface, then it's gonna throw an exception. And that'll at least help us while we're developing uh, to, to, to catch any, any errors there. Um, very good. So using using interfaces um, is very much the, the the right thing to do here. Um, so in, in OO design, we we talk about separation of concerns uh, as a design pattern. All right. So uh, so good stuff. Now um, in our case, uh, you know they, they call it fragment interaction listener. Not a bad name. It's just a little bit long. Um, I prefer to use just a simple uh, callback, right? And so I call my, my listener just to be to be m callback. Uh, and then the method that's declared there is I'm going to call it on doc selected, and it's going to have the opportunity to receive um, a document um, from this guy. Uh, so we've got some work to do in on attach, uh, and then um, well we'll 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 see this on on button pressed in a little bit here. I'm not going to worry about it for now. All right, so jumping jumping back in, uh, just got some renaming. All right, so this uh, this this um, guy right here, I'm going to take. And I'm going to refactor it. So, like I said, we're just going to call it callback. Call back, like so. And then the variable of that type, I'm going to refactor just to be uh, m callback, like so. And then we'll we'll just scroll through and we'll look for for places where it was used. So here's um, we see that that we could have a callback and we, we're going to call it from within here. So that's just basically um, showing us an example of how to use the callback. Uh, we've still got some renaming to do. So I'm going to jump back down all the way down to the bottom. And this is the interface here. So so uh, the interface comes with us. So it's an, an inner interface of this of this fragment. Good place to, to put it. Uh, and I want to rename this guy. So uh, they usually use on. Let's see, so we'll say this is on doc uh, selected. And rather than a URI, I want to pass one of my model objects, the, the doc object. So like so, okay. Uh, looks good. And this other guy right here, um, this is gonna take a doc. I can, I can comment this out or I can blow it away. Um, again, I'm just not noting, so I, uh, I'm gonna get rid of. Eh, I'll just get rid of it all together. We'll we'll create it back when we, when we need it. All right. uh, looks decent. Okay. Um, so while I'm here in the fragment, uh, so I um, I want to go ahead and finish on create view. All right. So um, I'm gonna have a, a recycler view and some code that that we've seen before um, for this guy. Uh, so let let's go ahead and write this. So scrolling back up to on create view. So 
uh, we know that that we're in, inflating this this fragment doc list. All right, so we ours was a little bit more complicated than than what they stubbed in, because we know this guy's a recycler view. So I'm going to do some things I, that I that I would normally do with with any uh, recycler view. So first thing I'm going to do is is split this uh, into two different parts here. So we will say here that that this is a um, that this is a recycler view uh, view gets this guy. Oops, put in a space and uh, return it. So that's cool. Uh, so, so something like that. Um, I will need to cast this. So inflate returns a view. We know it returns a re recycler view. So we'll cast it like so. And then I've got some things to, to set on it, right? So we know that any recycler view has a layout manager. Um, so this is just a, a straight linear layout manager. Uh, with a context, um, so I, I need the um, I need the context. If I want to get that from a, a fragment, there is a get context method uh, that I can use uh, like so. Uh, I need to make an adapter, and I had a doc list uh, doc list adapter. Oops. Now right now that that guy is is commented out, so it's not it's not completing for us. Um, so I'm going to pause right here, go over to my doc list adap adapter. And oh, that's interesting that it actually tried to try to put put this uh, back in here since it was there. Um, I will grab the whole thing and uncomment it. And let's see. So this has no compilers. So let's go back over here. So now it recognizes the the adapter, and this is going to be a new um, dockless adapter. Dockless adapters um, take two things. Um, so they take the context. Uh, so the context I could I could pass in as, as get context, and the second thing that they take here is a callback, right? So an an instance of this callback, because it turns out that that um, when I click on that that button, um, that's actually going to be detected not here in the fragment, but inside its adapter. Because remember, there's these view holders inside, and I'm going to put a listener on the view holder. So uh, the um, this callback here um, needs to get passed into the uh, into that guy, All right? Uh, and I need to tie the view and the adapter uh, together. So let's do this. So view dot set adapter, adapter, like that. Uh, it compiles, but we should probably uh, take a minute and take a look at the um, inside the dockless adapter um, to see these parameters and everything. Uh, since we uncommented it, so I'm going to jump back over to here. And let's see. Um, so we see what are first of all, what are we using the context for? Why do we need it? Well, we're going to be loading the documents up from the raw files. And it turns around, turns out that to mess around with with raw files, um, you need to um, get the resources from a context, right? So so that that requires that, and that's the only reason uh, we need it. Uh, the callback we save here. Okay, so let's go down, create view holder, standard, very standard recycler view kind of stuff. Uh, we bind it. We have a click listener, and ah, here we go. Okay, so when we click on an item, so when we click on one of the titles there, uh, it's going to call um, the callbacks on doc selected. So again, what is the callback? The callback is is this thing that that was passed in from the um, from the fragment. Okay, this callback, and where did that come from? Well, it was it was the context that was passed in when it was attached. And that context is main activity. So it's going to say, hey, main activity, a document was selected. Uh, do the right thing, which is going to end up being to, to switch out a fragment. Uh, and then some more sort of standard uh, recycler view kind of stuff. Um, let's see. So not, not quite sure why that why that went there. So let me let me undo. Looks like I just, just hit a shortcut to, to swap a couple of lines. I uh, didn't want to do that. So um, if we're going to run this, I'm going to expect actually that I'm that I'm going to get an an error here. Um, actually, so so well we're not even going to be able to launch it because we haven't uh, we haven't put in the option for that yet. So let's let's actually go back uh, and and create a, a dockless fragment. That's the next thing that has to happen. Uh, back to main activity. Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, one liner. Okay. Uh, switch to is a new dockless fragment. Like so, and run it. Yeah. And running it here, uh, we go in into our into our docs. And we click docs, and it should explode. Right there, we go. Okay. Um, hopefully, we were, we were kind of expecting that anyway. Um, 
so let's 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 see what the what the issue is here. Uh, well, if we're to go into um, into errors, everything, we should not be surprised to see that we got a null pointer exception here. Um, let's see, let's let's jump up. Uh, actually, is that ours? No, that is not ours. Um, let's let's keep going up here. This is ours. Okay, runtime exception. Uh, main activity must implement on fragment interaction listener. Right. So uh, well, I probably should have should have changed this here. It should be uh, my 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 doc list fragment uh, callback. Uh, but that was the point, right? I mean, we ex we expected this, and it's because it tried to do the class cast and couldn't do it. Uh, so let's at the very least let's go back to main activity, and we'll stub in the fact that that we implement the doc list fragment uh, dot callback interface. Uh, and if I want to um, stub that in, I can have it implement the methods, which are just on doc selected. Click OK. And it's going to put it right here at the top. I'm going to move that guy down to the bottom of the file down here, um, since it's going to end up doing uh, fragment transitions and stuff, transactions. And I'll rerun. All right, let's try it again. Uh, so it came up. Uh, so I'll click this guy, click into docs. And then, uh, yeah, very decent. Okay, so so it comes up here. It looks like I got something messed up with the with the um, with the the padding um, on this guy, so I can I can fix that. Uh, but other than that, it looks it looks pretty decent, right? Now now clicking on him, of course, doesn't do anything um, because I have an empty method right here. Uh, but it's but it's looking pretty decent. Um, I'm gonna fix this right now. So this is in content main, and content main gives us some some different padding. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and grab the uh, just just kill it there. Uh, yeah, and there we go. So we've we've stubbed this guy in. Uh, looks looks pretty decent. Um, and that's about all for this lesson. Uh, so we'll see you back uh, next time for our final uh, fragment, which is going to be our detail fragment. Mm -hmm.